hello everyone in the previous tutorials we have seen the data view transformations from json to C json to xml xml to json so in this tutorial we are going to see how to transform the data from json to csv so uh, as i said there are many ways to transform from json to csv so i found the simplest method of converting from json to da json data to csv data so first of all i will show my data in the uh, you know database how i have created a small table name called csv where i have a sample data over here now in the flow you can see i'm taking a http get url so that it will hit this particular flow and a database connector you should be able to connect the database uh, by adding a database connector here I am using MySQL uh, database so I have taken MySQL configuration with host, port, user and password and also make sure that you ha you add a driver and driver is nothing but a uh, jar file MySQL I will show you what is the jar file which we are going to use So I am using my SQL connector Java 5.1 jar and then I am adding over here. So just test the connection. So then the connection is successful. Just click OK. Now the data whatever data comes from the database will always be in the form of an object. So first of all we need to convert an object to JSON data make sure that whenever we are using object to json or any uh, you know property any transformer property make sure that you are mentioning the mime type so our mime type is application.json and encoding it's your optional thing so i am using here utf8 encoding then i am using a transfer message it is very simple to convert a, a csv file as I said again there are two methods how to convert it one is defining input and output over here or directly uh, paste, uh, writing the code over here so one thing you need to remember is uh, you can see the database columns like the first one is legal entity document number external reference etc but when we are converting it directly using this code you know uh, the output data will be in form of hash map so there will be no particular order so if you want one particular order you know if there are around 50 columns like that so you can define the metadata over here and map it one by one so that the output will be in same particular order but if there are many columns like 500 columns in a particular table we can't write all we can't define each and every column in the metadata as it takes more time so all that you need to do is uh, just simply write a payload here over here which will just map from json to csv so each column will be mapped but uh, one thing <coughs> the constraint over here is uh, uh, the order of the columns will not be the same as expected from the database but the order will uh, the output once the order comes is always consistent so here you can see i am defining quoted values equal to true i am using the separator as pipeline delimiter because this is the best way if at all any data contains any i am not using comma over here because if at all any data contains a comma any column contains the comma in its content then it will split so it's better to use a uh, pipeline negation symbol for a separator keeping header equal to true escape is like any symbol if we are escaping it we can escape over here so it's as simple as that and i am keeping a file connector over here so that it writes into the local system now we shall run the application as i said make sure that uh, you are placing object to json connector of the database because the result from database will always be an object and make sure that you are mentioning the mime type anywhere even the set payload or logger wherever it is needed yeah 
it's running so app is started so we shall go back to a postman hit the url json to csv is my url path you can go back to mailsoft application here you can see the payload as i have given payload set payload so it is displaying over here and we can also see that a test.csv file is generated generally in your local system if you place the same code and check uh, the csv file you won't be seeing the cells separated because here i am using pipe delimiter so generally by default your system will have a comma separated delimiter value here you can see payment date external reference legal entity apply applied amount currency payment action document number as i said the columns order will not be the same if you can see over here my first column name is legal entity which is the third column here in the csv so make sure but you know every time we run this application this order column will be same payment date external reference legal entity etc so as i said uh, this for me it will be visible in separate cells but if you are using the default thing is comma so to change that just go to your control panel so whatever separator you are using make sure that you change the values in the region just click region go to additional settings so here you can see the list separator as pipeline delimiter so if you are using comma place it as a comma because by default here it will be a comma as i am using the separator as pipe symbol i am applying over here so just click ok click ok and then close and open the file again xml file you could see over here so this is the best method you know if there are any 400 to 500 columns so this is the best way to define the uh, transfer message where it is nothing but simply a payload just which maps each and every column to the csv call uh, so any doubts you can comment it out and please don't forget to subscribe thank you